Hello, basketball fans. Welcome to the Red Zone here at Hicksville High School. As we're getting ready for freshman basketball action on what is Valentine's Day. It is Thursday, February the 14th, and a happy Valentine's to all of you from all of us here at Hicksville Community Television. Hope that it is a good day for you, whatever the day may hold or whatever the night may bring. Chris Warner is behind the camera. I am Bill Murphy uh, here by myself. Jim Siler not able to be with us today. Jim is going to be joining us tomorrow. We'll be back here at the Red Zone for the JV and the varsity matchups between these teams. But here it's the freshmen uh, taking uh, center stage as uh, they're playing their game this evening, hosting the Raiders of Wayne Trace. Hi, everybody. As I mentioned before, I am Bill Murphy with Hicksville Community Television. Glad to have you here with us. Raiders against the Aces in boys' freshman basketball action. We do not have starting lineups, so I'm just going to go down and highlight the rosters for both teams. For the Raiders, they have number three, Logan Hale. Number five is Grayson McClure. Number 10, Alan Mink. Number 14 is Ethan Noggle. Number 15, Trevor Sin. Number 20 is Landon Whitman. 22, Cameron Graham. Number 30 is Cameron Sin. Number 32, Devin Hoffing. Number 34, Ryan Roop, and number 50 is Nathan Sin. So three sins on the boys' freshman basketball team, Trevor, Cameron, and Nathan. Over on the Aces' side, number three is Zach Thatcher. Number four is Ashton Gilbert. Number five, Ryan Schleeser. Number 11 is Kyler Baird. Number 20 is uh, Fackler. Number 23, Gavin Loy. And number 30, Cooper Cayley. And it is going to be Cameron Graham and Kyler Baird jumping center circle to get us started in this basketball contest this afternoon. Glad to have you with us. We're underway. Tip is controlled by the Raiders. Six minute quarters in the freshman game. Wayne Trace, nice feed inside. Shot is up and good. And that is Whitman with the bucket. Ball loose on the floor, picked up by Gilbert. Pressure from the Raiders. Gilbert gets it to Baird. Baird moving around, winds up in Loy's hands. Loy knocked away from Schlesinger. Ryan picks it up and brings it back across the timeline to Gilbert. Gilbert looking things over, gets it to Thatcher. Bounce pass to Schleeser, his long three off the back of the iron, no good. Rebound comes down to Trevor Sin. Sin works his way through traffic into the paint, puts up the runner, and it's good. Sin with the bucket, and the Raiders up now 4-0. One minute in to this freshman game. Baird gets the ball into Loy. Loy cross court, picked up by Gilbert. Gilbert holds up at the three-point arc. Gilbert. Being guarded by McClure, and the pass picked off by Sin. That's Trevor. Trevor gets bumped, and the ball goes out of bounds. Gilbert didn't draw the whistle. Out of bounds. It'll stay with the Raiders. Inbounds and a quick shot. No good. That was from Graham. Another whistle out of bounds. Inbounds, another long shot, and that one off the rim, no good. Rebound comes back down to the Raiders. Sin dishes it off, gets it back out. Long three, off the iron, no good. Baird grabs the board, and it gets slapped out of his hands. He's trapped on the baseline in a double team. Gets it to Schleeser, to Loy. Loy down to Thatcher. Thatcher holds up, puts it off glass, no good. Rebound bouncing around loose. Trevor Sin comes up with it. No, excuse me, that's McClure. McClure lays it up, no good. Baird handles the board for the Aces. And again, pressure all the way up the court from the Raiders. Gilbert nearly loses it. He's right there on the timeline, bounce pass, and Baird does have it taken away from him. Layup and good from Cameron Sin. Two points from Cameron, ball out of bounds. It'll be Aces ball right at midcourt. Raiders up 6 0, 3.37 to go here in our opening quarter. 
Aces looking to get something going offensively here. Thatcher gets the inbounds, takes it across the timeline, loses it, and it'll be almost an over and back. It's about as close as you can come, and that is going to be over. Well, nope, they say the possession was switched briefly. Shot up, and that's good. Cameron Sin puts up a circus shot and gets it to drop. Baird inbounds to Schleser. Schleser in a double team, and that'll be a foul. No doubt about that. That'll be number one on Landon Whitman. I'm clapping in the crowd. They're thinking the whistle might have been a little bit overdue. Cooper Cayley checks into the game as Thatcher will have a seat. Baird slapped out of bounds, saved, and returned over. Shot up, no good. Put back, up, no good. And out of bounds, last touched by Hicksville. Quick inbounds. Long shot for three, no good. Rebound. Now move it back around, McGuire. McGuire drives into the paint, puts it up off the glass and good. Two points for McGuire and he's the fourth Raider now to score points this afternoon. Gilbert with the inbounds, he's almost trapped in a double team, gets out of there. Still having some problems with the Wayne Trace pressure. Manages to clear it and the Ace is able to set their offense. Loy on the wing, being guarded by Whitman. Gets down the corner and in trouble, and that'll be a jump ball. Aces are going to have to watch on the sideline and down in the corners. The two big men, Graham and Whitman, can really bottle you up. Checking into the game now, Nathan Sin, number 50 for Wayne Trace. As I'll let Whitman get a breather. Inbounds, Thatcher winds up with it, top of the key. Thatcher over to Kaylee. Kaylee behind the back dribble, almost loses it. Picked up by Schleser. The Aces will move it around the perimeter. Ryan Schleser over to Loy. Loy drives in, puts it up off the glass, no good. Thatcher grabs the board, gets it back to Loy. Loy down in the corner, long pass off the hands of Kaylee, and it's going to go out of bounds. It'll be Wayne Trey's ball. Down to a minute 55 left here in our opening quarter. Freshman basketball action here on Hicks TV. Trevor Sin brings the ball up onto the wing. Tosses it over to McGuire. McGuire to Cameron Sin. Back to McGuire. McGuire's long three, no good. Ball loose on the floor. Grabbed by Kaylee. Kaylee throwing his elbows around to get it out of there. Gets it to Baird. Kyler quickly down the floor. Baird tries to feed it to Loy, and it's knocked out of bounds by Nathanson. It'll stay with the Aces. Hicksville down 10 nothing. Thatcher gets it, puts it up. No good. Tries for the rebound. It's taken away from him by Graham, but a whistle. That might be Graham picks up the push off foul. Second team foul now for the Raiders. Nope, I take that back. They're seeing three. I must have missed one. Baird, good for three. Kyler Baird breaks the scoring ice for the Aces. Cuts the lead to seven. Sin kicks it out. Down the corner to Cameron Sin. Back to McGuire. He puts it up and good. Number to McClure, excuse me. Kaylee. Down low to Loy. Loy up, not enough on it. Easy shot, but he didn't get it up quite high enough. Long pass down the floor. Pull up jumper is good for Graham. Graham finally puts one down. To become, become the fifth Raider to get his name in the scorebook. Thatcher loses the inbounds off of his knee and out of bounds to the Raiders. Quick substitution as Graham comes out. 
And coming into the game, number 10, Alan Mink. Schleser will have a seat, and Gilbert will come back in for the Aces. Trevor Sin for Wayne Trace. Puts it up, no good. Thatcher grabs the rebound, but he inbounds it right to one of the Raiders. And then it gets volleyballed around a little bit more. Winds up in the hands of Cooper Cayley. He gets it off to Kyler Baird. Baird back to Cayley. Cayley works his way in, puts it up, and good. Cayley hits the bucket at the buzzer. And after the first six minutes, it's the Raiders leading the Aces by 9, 14 to 5. Got some time here between quarters, and we'll say a big thank you to our basketball broadcast underwriters making our coverage possible here on Hicksville Community Television, the Jim Schmidt family of automotive dealerships in Hicksville, Ohio, Jim Schmidt Chevrolet Buick and Jim Schmidt Ford. Remember, if you're in the market for a vehicle, brand new pre-owned car, truck, van, or SUV, check out the great selection on the lots, or you can check out the entire dealer inventory online at jimschmidtauto.com. And Community Memorial Hospital of Hicksville, proudly serving the health care needs of the Hicksville area for over 65 years. Inviting you to find out more about the many physicians and specialties and programs that they have available for you and your family at Community Memorial Hospital by logging on to their website, www.cmhosp.com. Community Memorial Hospital and the Jim Schmidt family of automotive dealerships, both of them right here in Hicksville, Ohio. Proud to have them as our basketball broadcast underwriters on Hicksville Community Television. Six minutes on the clock, getting ready for quarter number two. Aces will have the ball. Ethan Noggle, number 14, on the floor now for the Raiders. Baird. Looking to get the ball inbounds. Tosses it into Cayley. Cooper back to Baird. Baird feeds it over to Loy. Loy down low. Gilbert. Gilbert goes to the hoop. No good. Rebound controlled by the Raiders. Cameron Graham using his height. Tosses it down to Mink. Up and good. Allen Mink with the bucket to make it 16 to 5 and. Whitman hits the hardwood. It'll be Ace's ball. Baird looking things over, tosses it in to Thatcher, or to Gilbert, excuse me. Gilbert, bounce pass to Loy. Loy down in the corner, being guarded by Graham. Stolen by Whitman, but it, it's inbounds back to the Aces. Turn around, up. And no good from Baird. Rebound comes down to Mink. Mink to Trevor Sin. Off the hands of Whitman out of bounds. Aces ball on the baseline. Fackler checks in for Hicksville as Loy will come out for a breather. Into Schleser. Schleser to Kaylee. Kaylee. Down, up, and good for Fackler. Trevor Sin quickly the other way for the Raiders. Feeds it down low, up, and good for Whitman. Four points now for Landon Whitman. Gilbert gets the inbounds to Schleser. Schleser bounce pass is stolen by Graham. Graham. Almost loses it. He straddles the timeline, gets it off to Trevor Sin. Sin down to Mink. Mink puts it up. No good. Put back, and that is good from Whitman. 20 to 7 now, Raiders. Inbounds to Schleser. Back to Baird. Full court pressure from the Raiders. Baird quickly down the floor, kicks it back out to Gilbert. Gilbert to Fackler. Fackler, stolen by Whitman. Whitman probably should have been fouled by Kaylee, but they don't blow the whistle, and Whitman picks up his eighth point. Gilbert, bounce pass goes out of bounds, and it'll go to the Raiders. 
3.49 to go in the first half. And it's been all Raiders so far in this freshman game. They lead the Aces 22 to 7. Trevor Sin slowing things down a little bit. Gets a pick from Whitman. Sin goes around, lays it up, lays it in. Four points now for Trevor Sin. We use his first name a lot because there are three Sins playing for the Raiders. Backler. Gets it to Gilbert. Gilbert puts up the jumper, no good. Bounces it off the front of the rim. Quickly down the floor to Cameron. Cameron stops, pops, no good. Schleser battling for it. And he'll be tripped. Okay, looks like that'll be a, another one on Graham. Team foul number four on the Raiders. Mass substitutions now as Cameron Sin comes back into the game, as does McClure. And also number three, Logan Hale. And number 32 is Devin Hoffing. Out of bounds, last touch by the Raiders. It'll be Aces ball. Three minutes exactly, halfway through the second quarter. Kyler Baird gets it into Schleser. Back to Baird. Baird looking things over. Fackler. Fackler. And that'll be over and back. So Thatcher will turn it over to the Raiders midcourt. Devin Hoffing to inbounds. Gets it into McClure. McClure goes right up the middle of the floor. Offensive foul. Grayson goes to the bucket but gets whistled for the offensive foul. Team foul number five on the Raiders. The Aces still have yet to commit an infraction. Baird gets it into Thatcher. Thatcher battles his way up the sideline. Feeds it over to Fackler to Gilbert. Gilbert gets it to Baird. Baird thinks about it, changes his mind, gets it to Thatcher, almost stolen by Hale. Fackler controls the ball for the Aces. Schleser, long shot, no good. And that's going to be... The first foul on the Aces, and I think that's going to be, it is, Kyler Baird. Baird picks up his first personal, team foul number one for the Aces. And McClure will bring the ball up for the Raiders. McClure over to Cameron Sin. Sin back to Hale. And back to McClure on the wing. Tries to get it inside to Hoffing, and it's stolen away. Baird with the ball as he moves his way down, stops, feeds it over to Gilbert, Gilbert to Thatcher. Thatcher drives into the paint, kicks it out to Fackler. Fackler for three, no good. Hoffing grabs the board, tosses it over to his teammate. McClure lays it up, no good, and Schleser grabs the rebound, gets it to Gilbert, Gilbert to Baird. Baird has it stolen away by Cameron Sin. And we'll get things resettled. Cameron Sin off the iron, no good. He'll grab his own rebound, feeds it inside to Nathan Sin. Sin kind of moves Schleser out of the way, puts it up, and gets the bucket. 26-7, 19-point lead. And stolen away and up, and that's good for Cameron Sin. Make it a 21-point lead. Gilbert. Feeds it down to Fackler, kicks it back out to Thatcher, puts it up, no good. McClure grabs the rebound with 45 seconds. Hale, his bounce pass is stolen by Baird. Baird the other way for the Aces. Kyler Baird on the wing, behind the back dribble. Looks for some help, gets it off to Thatcher. Thatcher 
Throws it in the general direction and it's saved before it goes across the midcourt line back into Baird's hands. Baird to Fackler down in the corner. Fackler to Thatch, top of the key. Thatch comes close to a travel, gets it out of his hands in time. Out of bounds on the far sideline. It'll stay with the Aces with 17.6 seconds to go until halftime. Thatcher and Fackler will step out. Loy back into the game along with Kaylee. Some substitutions for the Raiders as well. Baird with the ball being guarded by Trevor Sin. Down in the corner, Gilbert, and we're going to have, and that I think is going to be on Hale. Be on the floor. Yep, Hale will pick up team foul number six for Wayne Trace. One more, and the Aces go into the bonus, but only nine seconds left. Schleser to Baird, back to Gilbert. Gilbert for three. No good. Grabbed by Nathan Sin. Sin gets it to Trevor Sin, who launches it. And it is no good. Time expires and we've reached halftime. And after the first 12 minutes, it's the Wayne Trace Raiders leading the Aces freshman squad 28 to 7. We're going to take a break, but we invite you to stay tuned. Both Chris Warner and myself will be back. We'll have all the second half play-by-play -play coming your way right here on Hicks TV. Welcome back to the Red Zone as we're a little over a minute away from getting the second half underway in this freshman basketball game. I'm Bill Murphy with Hicksville Community Television. If you're just joining us, uh, the first half was all Wayne Trace Raiders as they came ready to play. And they uh, built up a comfortable 21-point lead by the time the halftime buzzer sounded. And that is the score at halftime as we get ready to get the third quarter underway. It's the Raiders leading the Aces. 28 to 7. Unofficial first half scoring for the Aces. It's short and sweet. Kyler Baird had a three pointer and then a bucket and two for both Fackler and Kaylee. That makes up the seven points the Aces have on the scoreboard. For the Raiders, their leading scorer was the big man down low, Landon Whitman. He had four buckets for eight, six points from uh, Cameron Sin, and then uh, four points each for Trevor Sin and Grayson McClure. A bucket and two for Alan Mink, a bucket and two for Cameron Graham, and a bucket and two for Nathan Sin. And that adds up to 28, and there you have it. So it'll be a 21-point lead for the Raiders when we take the floor to get quarter number three underway. Glad to have you with us here on Hicksville Community Television. Thanks again to our basketball broadcast underwriters, the Community Memorial Hospital, and the Jim Schmidt family of automotive dealerships, both of them right here in Hicksville, Ohio. So not the sweetest of Valentine's Days so far for the Aces. As they've kind of got slapped around rather than hugged and kissed a little bit. So back in action. And I'm going to give up with the Valentine's Day stuff now too. McClure feeds it over to Cameron, puts it up no good, or to Graham rather, no good. Loy grabs the rebound for the Aces, gets it over to Baird. Baird across the timeline. Kyler trapped in a double team, needs some help. Gets it to Kaylee. Kaylee saves it before it goes across the timeline for the over and back. Tosses it to Loy. Tries to feed it down low to Fackler, and the ball is picked off by Whitman. Whitman to Trevor Sin. Sin works his way through traffic, kicks it back to McClure. McClure will work it around the perimeter. Perimeter, Graham down low to Whitman, up and good. 
Landon Whitman with the bucket, and that gives him 10 points. He's the first player to go into double figures this afternoon. Baird off of Loy's hands, out of bounds. And they'll see whether they're going to give the ball to, they're going to say, last touch by Wayne Trace. In to Schleser. Loy winds up with the deflected pass, gets it to Baird. Baird splits the defense, takes it to the hoop, up and good. Five points now for Kyler. 30 to nine, the overall score. Long three, no good. Baird grabs the rebound. Whitman right there to give him a little pressure. Baird works his way through the defense, gets it to Schleser, Schleser to Loy. Loy on the wing. In a double team, it's going to nearly lose the ball to McClure. McClure to, gets it off to Kaylee, rather. Kaylee and back to Baird. Bounce pass. Schleser. Uh, going to be a whistle and a reach in on. And that's going to be on. I think it was number I think it was number five, Grayson McClure. They were saying three, but there's not a three out there. Or maybe 30. Anyway, team foul number one. Loy tries to get it up, and he will be fouled in the act by Whitman. That'll be Whitman's second. And Gavin Loy will go to the line for the first free throws shot here this afternoon. First in the entirety of the game. Well, we will get two. First one is good. Loy gets one more. Quick substitution as Nathanson into the game for the Raiders. Loy's second one is good. Gavin Loy makes it a 30 to 11 game. Down into the corner, that's Cameron Sin. Cameron to Trevor Sin. Back to Cameron Sin for three. No good, rebound. That was, that was McClure. McClure is gonna draw the foul and now he'll shoot free throws. No good. Grayson will get one more shot. And that one goes down for him. McClure makes it a 31 to 11 game and puts the lead back at 20. Baird. It's going to be pushed, and I think that they're going to get Trevor Sin for that one. That'll be team foul number three on the Raiders. Three forty-five to go here in our third quarter. Baird inbounds to Kaylee, puts the shot up, no good. Cameron Sin with the rebound. Sin gets it to McClure. McClure hands it off to Graham. Graham puts it up, no good. Loose ball grabbed by Kaylee. Kaylee to Baird. Baird across the timeline, down into the corner to Loy. Back to Schleser. Schleser trapped in a double team. Tries to get it out of there, it goes out of bounds. Off of the Raiders. Long inbounds to Ryan Schleser. Schleser to Kaylee. Kaylee gets it out to Loy and back to Baird. Back to Schleser. Schleser, no good. Rebound Nathan Sin for the Raiders. He'll get it to Trevor Sin. Feeds it inside to Graham. Graham knocked out of bounds. There'll be a whistle. Good job by Loy. 
Some mass substitutions. Thatcher will come in for the Aces. And see Nago in for Wayne Trace along with Hale. And uh, Mink back into the game. I, I lost one for a minute there. Mink gets the ball into Noggle. Mink for three. No good. Kaylee grabs the rebound. Cooper gets it off to Gilbert back into the game. Ashton stops at the top of the three-point arc, gets it over to Thatcher. Thatcher loses the ball. It goes out of bounds. It'll be Wayne Trace's ball. Made a pass, and there was no one on the far side to get it. Inbounds to Mink. Mink takes it across the timeline with 2.29 to go in quarter number three. Hale, bounce pass down low. Nathan Sin, Sin pops out of his hands, goes out of bounds, going to stay with Wayne Trace. Got helped out by Zach Thatcher. Mink, long inbounds, almost... Almost taken away by Gilbert. Goes out of bounds, stays with the Raiders. Mink inbounds it to Graham. Graham over to the far side to Hale. Hale gets bumped. And I think that's going to be on Zach Thatcher. And that'll be team foul number two on the Aces. Inbounds to Nathan Sin. Shot's no good. Gilbert gets it to Baird. Baird to Gilbert off of Gilbert's hand. Stolen away. And it'll be out of bounds, I believe, to the Aces. That was Ethan Noggle flying down the floor. Lost the handle, got hit from behind, grabbed it, tried to, goes out of bounds, and the Aces get the ball back. Under two minutes to go here in quarter number three. Gilbert tries to get it to Baird out of bounds, back to the Raiders. Horn for the substitution. Thatcher will come out. Loy back into the game for the Aces. Mink brings the ball up. Mink out of bounds. Trying to get it to Hale. Errant pass, but, well, errant because it was slapped. Graham and Noggle will come out of the game. In number 34, Ryan Rupp, to be Roop, off the bottom of the backboard, but that was because Sin was fouled, and Nathan will go to the line. He'll shoot two. Team foul number three on the Aces. Also into the game, Hoffin is back into the game for the Raiders, number 32. Nathan Sin gets the first one. 32 to 11 now, and Sin gets one more. Minute 30 to go in the third quarter. Rebound to Loy. Loy to Baird, Baird to Gilbert. Gilbert being guarded by Roop. Gilbert gets around him, gets it to Kaylee on the wing. Kaylee tries to feed it into Baird. It's deflected and winds up in the hands of Nathan Sin. Sin tosses it over to Hale. Hale quickly up the floor. Over to Mink. Ball's loose and Loy comes up with it for the Aces. And then it's stolen on the two casual pass backwards to Schleser. And Hale lays it up and in for two. Make it 34 to 11. Baird. Back to Loy, down low to Kyler. His jumper is a little bit short. Hale grabs the rebound for the Raiders. 30 seconds, 
Down into the corner. That's Roop. Roop back to Hale. And Hale buries the three. 18.4 as he inbounds it. 15 seconds now. In the corner to Loy. Loy with 10. Baird takes the shot with eight. No good. Rebound comes down to Hoffing. Hoffing gets it over to Mink. Mink will take the long shot at the buzzer. No good. And that'll be the end of the third quarter with the Raiders adding to their lead. Up now by 26, 37 to 11. And again, we want to say a big thank you to our basketball broadcast underwriters making it possible for us to be here on this Valentine's afternoon. The Community Memorial Hospital of Hicksville, Ohio, celebrating over 65 years of serving the health care needs of the Hicksville area and inviting you to go on to their website, www.cmhosp.com, to find out about the many physicians and services that they have available. Hey, you can also check out things like, uh, well, lots of fun stuff, like the menu for their uh, cafe uh, that they have uh, open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And that's a good place to eat, let me tell you. Community Memorial Hospital looks forward to serving the health care needs of you and your family and the Jim Schmidt family of automotive dealerships in Hicksville, Ohio. Jim Schmidt Chevrolet Buick, Jim Schmidt Ford, and the Jim Schmidt Truck Lot. Remember, it's all about service before, during, and after the sale at the Jim Schmidt family of automotive dealerships in Hicksville, Ohio, and online at jimschmidtauto.com. I want to thank them both a lot. Because of them, we're going to be on the road Coming up pretty soon, we're going to be heading down to Lincoln View for girls' sectional basketball action and over to Defiance for the boys' sectionals. Those road trips made possible by their underwriting support. Baird, the fourth quarter is underway, puts it up and gets it to drop. Seven points now for Kyler Baird. Makes the score 37-13. Roop with the ball for the Raiders. Holds up, long cross-court pass to Mink. Down low to Nathan Sin. He loses the dribble, gets it back, and Sin's going to be fouled. Trying to get a shot off underneath the hoop. And that's going to be on Schleser, number five. That's team foul number four on the Aces. And once again, Nathan Sin at the line, shooting two. Got one out of two the last time he was at the line. This is that one. He'll get one more. Sin's second shot. Also no good. Baird grabs the board for the aces. Kyler Baird. Again, his pull-up jumper is good. Baird makes it 37-15. Mink to Huffing. Huffing feeds it down low. No good, and it's going to go out of bounds. Last touch by Hicksville, I think. It'll stay with the Raiders. Noggle looking to get the ball in bounds. Bounce pass in, loose on the floor, picked up. By Nathan Sin. Sin turn around, partially blocked. Rupp, Rupp tries to go up, or excuse me, Roop tries to go up, and he will be fouled. And I believe that one's going to be on Gilbert, number four. Team foul, number four for the Aces. And that's going to put Brian Roop at the line shooting to team foul number five, excuse me, for the Aces. Roop gets the first one. He'll get one more. That one's off the iron, no good. Rebound grabbed by Noggle. Out of bounds, aces ball. Baird gets the ball in to Ashton Gilbert. Gilbert brings it across the timeline. Gilbert looking things over, gets it over to Fackler into the game. Fackler. Baird, Baird from the free throw line just short off the iron. 
Rebound grabbed by Hoffing. Hoffing works himself down onto the wing. Guarded by Fackler, gets it in to Roop. Roop puts it up, no good. Knocked out of bounds, it'll stay with the Raiders. 4.26 to go in the contest. Long inbounds, grabbed by Loy. Loy crashes into, and it's stolen away by Sin. Nathan Sin gets it to Roop. And then knocked off by Fackler. Fackler trying, gets it to Baird. Baird launches it across court, goes out of bounds, and we'll see whether Noggle was right there reaching up. We'll see if Noggle got a hand on it. It'll be Aces ball, and if he missed it, no, they're gonna give it to the Aces. So Noggle got a piece of it as it went sailing overhead. Possession stays with the Aces. 4-10 to go in the contest. Kyler Baird into Loy. Loy gets a little help from Schleser. Gets it over now to Fackler. Fackler back to Loy on the wing. Loy drives in. Puts it up, too much on it, goes over the hoop, no good. Roop grabs the rebound, down the floor. He'll stop at the three-point arc, put the ball up, no good. And that'll be out of bounds, stays with the Raiders. Shot up, no good. Baird grabs the rebound. Gilbert into the paint, puts up the hook shot, no good. Put back, no good. And a travel on Loy, it'll turn it over to the Raiders. The 327 left in the contest. Hale gets it over to Noggle. Noggle to Roop. Back to Hale. Hale spins around. Trying to work himself free. Not able to do so, but gets the ball off to Noggle. To Roop. Roop puts up a long one. No good. And it'll be loose on the floor. Picked up by Noggle and then nearly stolen away by Gilbert. Noggle down low to Nathan Sin. Bounce pass, put up by Huffing, no good. Ball grabbed by Noggle, he'll get it back out to Hale at the top of the key. Hale looks things over, he'll move in, he'll take the shot from three point land and it's good. Logan Hale, his second three of the afternoon, makes it a 41 to 15 game. Ashton Gilbert with the ball for the aces, down to Loy on the wing. Loy into Baird, Baird. Pull up jumper, off the front of the iron, no good. Put back Loy, no good. Rebound Noggle for the Raiders. Noggle down to Hale. Hale's gonna shoot another three. That one's no good. Out of bounds, stays with the Raiders. Loy was trying to control it, wasn't quite able to. Thatcher and Cooper Cayley back into the game for the Aces as Gilbert and Loy will have a seat. Some new faces in for the Raiders, too. Hale back to Mink. Mink gets it over to Noggle. And Mink on the wing. Mink drives in, puts it up, and gets it to drop. Minute 45 left in the contest. Kyler Baird for the Aces. To Cooper Cayley. Cayley drives into the paint, puts up the running jumper, no good. Rebound comes down to Hoffing. Hoffing gets it over to Noggle. And I'm not sure whether he was trying to throw that one to Hale or to Mink, but both of them moved at the same time, and the ball sails out of bounds and goes to the Aces with 128 left in regulation. Baird loses the dribble. It's going to go out of bounds. It was kicked, so it should stay with the Aces. 
122 left. Bounce pass into Thatcher, gets it out to Baird, to Schleser. Schleser's long three, and that's good. Ryan Schleser gets his first points of the night to make it a 43-18 game. Raiders can slow things down as the final seconds start ticking off the clock. Bounce pass to Roop. Tosses it down to Mink. And there'll be a foul as Mink tries to, I don't know if he was in the act of shooting, but that's going to be on Schleser. And that is going to put Alan Mink at the line shooting two. With 57.7 seconds left. Gets the first one. He'll have one more. Mink gets that one too. Six points now for Mink. Schleser picks up the ball, gets it to Baird. Baird to Kaylee. Kaylee from three, gets it. Cooper Kaylee hits the three to make it 45-21. 40 seconds left. Mink going to do some dribbling around. Mink loses the ball. It's picked up, though, by Noggle. Noggle is going to take the shot. No good. And Kaylee winds up with the ball. 23 seconds. He gets it over to Ryan Schleser. Schleser across the timeline. Back to Cooper Cayley. Cayley feeds it over. Long shot, no good. It's an air ball from Fackler. And we'll come back the other way, and they should just be able to dribble it out as we're down to five seconds. And everybody is going to wait for the buzzer to sound so they can shake hands and head to the showers. And that's it. This one is all Raiders as Wayne Trace knocks off the aces in this freshman game, 45 to 21, the final score. Now we're gonna do some quick additions here so I can give you unofficial scoring for the contest, so bear with me for just a moment. And here we go. For the uh, Aces with the uh, loss this afternoon, uh, their leading scorer was Kyler Baird. Baird had a three-pointer in the uh, first half, and he followed that up with three field goals in the second half for six for a combined total of nine points this afternoon. Cooper Cayley had a two in the first half and a three in the second half to finish the afternoon with five. A bucket and two for Fackler. A three-pointer from uh, Ryan Schleser for three. And two free throws from Loy for two points this afternoon for the total of 21 for the Aces. For the Raiders, they had one player in double figures. That was the big man Landon Whitman. Whitman had eight in the first half, a bucket and two in the second half to finish up with ten. After that, it was eight points this afternoon. Logan Hale on two three-pointers and a field goal. Also eight points. Nope, I take that back. He's alone with eight. There are two with six. Six points from Alan Mink. Mink had a, a couple of field goals and a couple of free throws for his six points. And three buckets all in the first half for Cameron Sin for his six points this afternoon. After that, it was five points for Grayson McClure. Four points for Trevor Sin. Three from Nathan Sin. And two points from Cameron Graham. And a single point off a free throw from Ryan Root. And there you have it. 45-21. to 21 the final score. Hey, we want to thank you for tuning by, joining us for the coverage this afternoon. And again, a big thanks to our basketball broadcast underwriters, the Jim Schmidt Family of Automotive Dealerships and the Community Memorial Hospital of Hicksville, Ohio. We want to thank them so very much. They're going to be with us again tomorrow. We will be back here on Friday for the junior varsity and the varsity matchups between the Aces and the Raiders here on Hicks TV. So with that, we're going to wrap it up for this Valentine's Day broadcast. Again, want to thank you for tuning by and joining us. And for Chris Warner behind the camera, I'm Bill Murphy with Hicksville Community Television wishing you good afternoon.
and good sports.